Experiment 3, Redox Titration Method A, Preparation of Potassium Iodate Solution Weight approximately 0.75 gram of potassium iodate crystals in a 50 ml beaker. Do not forget to close the chemical container. Measure 25 ml of distilled water, pour it into a beaker and stir it with a glass rod until all the potassium iodate dissolve. Pour the potassium iodate solution through a filter funnel into a 250 ml volumetric flask. Rinse the beaker with distilled water and pour this water into the volumetric flask until there is no leftover in the beaker. Add in more distilled water to the volumetric flask up to the mark on the neck of the flask. Put the stopper in place and shake the flask until you get a homogeneous solution. Watch carefully how did Madam Ruby shake the flask. The standard solution that you prepared is now ready for use in part B. Method B. Standardization of 0.1 molar sodium thiosulfate solution. Rinse and fill a clean burette with 0.1 molar sodium thiosulfate solution that is to be standardized. Make sure that there are no air bubbles in your burette. You can refer to video experiment how to make sure there are no air bubbles in, your, in the tip of the burette. Prepare 25 ml of the standard potassium iodate solution that has been prepared in part A into a 250 ml conical flask. You can watch the video how to use pipette in your instructor goals. Press S to suck the solution into the pipette until it reach the graduated mark and press E to release the solution back into the conical flask. Weight approximately 1 gram of potassium iodide solids and add it into the solution in the conical flask. Dispense 10 ml of 1 molar sulfuric acid solution and swirl the conical flask until all the potassium iodide has dissolved. Now you are ready for titration. You can refer to video in experiment 1 how to titrate. Titrate immediately the release iodine with the sodium thiosulfate solution while swirling the conical flask until a light yellow solution is obtained. 
Once light yellow solution is obtained, dilute this solution with distilled water until the total volume is about 100 ml. Next, add in 1 ml of the starch solution and continue titrating dropwise until the blue color disappears and the solution becomes colorless. This is the end point of the titration process. Record the final reading of your burette. Repeat the titration three times.